So when we're doing dividing fractions, dividing fractions are very similar to multiplying by fractions. So, so let's do dividing fractions. Okay, dividing. Dividing fractions, we have an extra step. We do step 1.5. We'll be going through this when you do each question anyway. Okay, step 1.5. I don't know why it's doing that. That's better. Otherwise, the steps for division are identical to multiplying. So you do step one for division, also step one and a half, and step two, and step three, and step four. Okay, right, let's have a look at our question now. Okay, now let's make another copy of this. Uh -huh. Copy. Okay, so I've copied the notes right next to the question. So we need our first brave student to come and, okay, your mama's got a hand up, I don't know if she's got a hand up to do the question, but you, since your hand's up, you can come and join me on this question, please. Can you unmute yourself? And can you lead us through the steps and tell us what we're doing for question number 28, please? Part number four. Off you go, mama. Yes, yeah, so, uh, question. So do we do step one? Yeah. Step one says change any mixed fraction to the top heavy. We don't have any mixed fraction, so we can skip step one. But what about step one and a half? Do we have to do that one? Yes. Do we have to do the KFC? I can't see the question. Oh. So we're going to um, keep the first fraction. We're going to flip the second fraction. And we're going to change the sign in the middle. I think they should call it KCF rather than KFC. So keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, and change the divide into times. Let's do that then. Okay. Okay, let's do it. So that equals 7, 10. So the sign, the divide becomes a what? Times. What happens to the second fraction? You flip it. You flip it. So you put the top on the, uh, the bottom on the top, and the top on the bottom. Okay, so what do we get now with this question? So let's go back to the rules now. Step one, we had to miss because we couldn't do it. Step one and a half, we've just done it. What step two is telling us to do from the right hand side of the page? Step two is telling us to do what? Um, try to cancel or simplify diagonally, vertically, but not horizontally. Lovely, come on then, let's, let's try to see. Can, can you cancel it in any of those directions? Yes, 10 and five. So what will they cancel by? Five. Lovely, so five divided by five is one, and 10 okay. divided by five is? Yeah. Okay, now, can we cancel any other direction? Can we cancel again now, for example? Um, no. No, so when you say no, say no confidently. Yes, say it's no, I can't do any more. Okay, so I'm not trying to make you change your mind. I just want you to be confident. Right, what step do you do next after step two? Then, um, now multiply the top numbers. And I suppose we say here, and, Multiply the bottom numbers as well. So that's missing. So you're basically multiplying at the top and you're multiplying at the bottom. Okay. Okay, lovely. So let's have a look at our top numbers. So the top number is seven and one. What's seven times by one? One, seven. Lovely. And what is uh, our bottom number? Bottom number is two. Oops. That's not supposed to be that. Uh, bottom number is? Two times two by two. two is four. So two times by two is four. Now, if you look back at the rules, what's step number four saying? Step four. Answer again, if you can, else change top heavy back to mixed. Okay, lovely. So now look at that question for me, please. Seven over four. What kind of fraction is seven over four, Umama? Top heavy. Top heavy, or we say improper fraction. So the top number's bigger than the bottom, and that's not normal, that, that's a, uh, so how do I change that into a mixed fraction? What's the method? Um, seven divided by four. Which is equal to? One and three quarters. So it's one whole, the three remainder goes on the top and the four from the bottom gets copied on the bottom. And we've been practicing these, these kind of questions before. So that's the end of the first question. And that's done fantastically well by Umama, well done.
Thank you for that, Mama. Right, let's get somebody, let's get uh, uh, Aisha to do me another question. Let's pick another question. Okay. Okay, right, let's move this, all of this to this side. Mm. Okay, right, let's have Aisha now. Aisha, can you please unmute yourself and join me on this question, please? Now, don't forget, I'm going to keep uh, in front of you the rules. We are following the rules each time. So, uh, uh, so Aisha, how many rules are we following for division? Division and multiplying are the same, apart from division has how many extra rules? One. One more extra rule. For multiplication, Aisha has four rules and division has how many rules? Division has five rules. Five. Five rules. So you got step one, step 1.5, step two, step three, step four. So basically division is exactly the same as multiplying with one extra little KFC, key flip change, or in my case, KCF, uh, key change flip. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We are now following the same rules as multiplication with an extra little baby rule for division. So division and multiplication are done nearly identical. So today's lesson will help us revise multiplying fractions as well. Alhamdulillah, that's good. So uh, I've got the rules on the left-hand side. So Aisha, I want you to uh, read. Uh, what's the first rule? What's the first rule that we follow for question number 14? Change any mixed fractions into top heavy. Let's do that then. Here we go. So let's change the mixed fractions. So we start here. You got a times and add, yes? Yeah. So two times by four is eight plus one is nine. Two times by three is six plus two is eight. So at the moment, I haven't done any flipping. All I've just done is change. I've followed rule number one. Okay, after rule number one, which is the next rule for division, special for division, which rule is next? At 1.5. 1.5. What's 1.5 have? KFC, you want to keep the first one, flip the second one, and change the divi division the division into times. So let's do the KFC. So we're going to keep this one, we're going to flip that one, and we're going to change the middle one. I was just thinking, why is it KFC? <laughs> Students have learned it's KFC. It's actually KCF, but never mind. KFC sounds good. Keep, flip, and change. So... We are going to change the division into a what? Times. Times. And what we do second fraction, we're going to flip it. Flip the 8 and the 3. And what we do the first one, should we keep the first one the same? Yes. Absolutely. So we're following a rule. Lovely. Now, Aisha, if I cover up this part of the question, let me just get this here. If I cover this part of the question up and we just look at this part of the question, what kind of question is it now? Yeah. Is it still division? No. What is it now? It's multiplication. There you go. So the division question has very quickly converted, changed, transformed into a times question. So uh, how do we finish the question off? Do you finish off like a division question, Aisha, or as a multiplication? Multiplication. Multiplication. So when we're doing division, we are also doing multiplication, 100%, plus a little, that teeny little baby KFC. All right, let's get rid of all this. Oops. Right, I think I deleted something. I should have deleted it. Right. Here we go. Can we cancel anything? Yes. Okay, now remember, when you cancel, no, you can't. directions are this way, this way, this way or this way, we can cancel in vertical direction or diagonal. Is there anything that we can cancel? You can't cancel. Good. You can't cancel. That's okay. That's not a problem if you can't cancel. So what do you do if you can't cancel? Let's have all the rules. You go straight on to multiple, multiplication. That's why you multiply out the top numbers and the? Bottom numbers. You go on to rule number three. So you have nine times by three. Twenty-seven. And four times by eight? 32. And the job's done. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes. You got to a live with me there. Of course. Go. Cool. Okay, so we've done two questions there so far. We've done one without mixed fractions, and we've done one with mixed fractions, and the one with without mixed fractions with that was cancelling, and this one didn't cancel at all. So just giving you like example there. Now, does anybody in the class need me to do any more examples before I let you loosen the questions? Put your hand up if you want, if you need some more examples. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do another question. Okay, Iman, you can come in with me with the next question. This one. There we go, Iman, this question here. Iman, unmute yourself, please, and come and join me in this question. Everybody else, please, please stay muted. So. Okay, what do we do here? You have to times and add with both of them. That's changing mixed fractions into top heavy. So three times by three is nine. Nine add one is? Three times three is nine. Nine add one is ten. Nine add one is ten. And what about the next one? Next one is three times two is six. Add one is seven. Okay, what do we do next now? What's that special K? What's it called? K? C. KFC. So we keep the first fraction the same, which it's is 10 over 3. We flip the second fraction upside down and we turn the divide into a? Into a times. Into a times. So can we cancel anything at the moment? Let's have a look. Have a look. Can we cancel? Try. Let's try. Can we cancel this way? Uh, yes. No. no. This way? Uh, yes. No. Why are you saying yes for? No. 10 and 7 won't cancel. 2 and 3 won't cancel. Can you cancel this way? No. No. Can you cancel this way? No. That's why you can't cancel any direction. So what we do, we leave it alone. So we go on to the next step. If you can't cancel, what do you do then? You just type... Multiply out the... At the top. And multiply out the... Bottom. bottom. So what's 10 times by 2? 10 times 2 is 20. And what's 3 times by 7? 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, do you feel more confident now? Yes. Are you ready to do some questions? Yes. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay, give me a second. Right. Okay, right. Let me move the rule out the way and put the rule back over here. I'll put the rule over here at the moment. I'll put it over there, out of the way. Now I'm going to select some questions for everybody to do on this page. If anybody gets stuck and they need help, they can always uh, ask for help by putting the hand up or unmuting themselves. So let me give you a couple of questions to do, everybody. Okay, let's find some questions that are going to do some nice. Okay, let's start with question number 29. Question number 30. Question number 29. Don't ask me why the question numbers are all over the place. <laughs> That's the fun of it. This one. Okay. Uh, we have this one. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks. So we've got about six, seven questions there. Seven questions, I think. I want everybody, let me get my timer. I'll get one of my timers to actually work. I'm going to put a five minute timer on and I'm going to pause the recording so we don't waste recording. Okay, here we go. So three eighths, we do the K, the F, the C. So we have four over one with times. We try to cancel diagonally if we can. So this diagonal we can cancel by dividing them both by four. Then we can't cancel anymore. So we have to multiply at the top and multiply at the bottom. The answer is top heavy, so three divided by two is one, remainder of one. So the answer is one and a half. That's that question. The other question number 30, the answer already there for you, please. Have a look at the answer which is highlighted. So for the next question, we're gonna do the K, uh, key flip, change. So the two over nine says as is. The divide becomes times. And the second fraction gets flipped upside down. 
if you try to cancel this way it doesn't work this way it doesn't work this way it doesn't work and this way it doesn't work so if it doesn't cancel then you multiply out the top numbers and you multiply out the bottom numbers that gives you four the line and that question is done so all these two questions i've got to give you answers for is for number 10 and number 18. so please mark carefully any questions that you've done if you got stuck on anything, please ask me and I can give you some extra help. So here, we have to change the mixed fractions into top heavy. That gives you 5 over 2. That's 6 out 2. That will give you 8 over 3. So we have to keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, and change the divide. So the three goes to the top, eight goes to the bottom. Can we cancel anything down? Let's have a look. Can I cancel that way? No. This way, no. This way, no. This way, no. I can't, I've tried, but it doesn't work. So I have to go to the next phase and we have to multiply at the top numbers and multiply at the bottom numbers. Okay, and then we have an answer of 15 over 16 done. The last one here for my examples. So 2 times by 2 add 1. That'll give you 5 over 2 divided by 1 over 3. Now we've got to do the KFC. Keep the first one, flip the second one, and change the sign. So 5 over 2 stays as 5 over 2. The divide becomes times. The second fraction flips upside down. Can we cancel in any direction? Let's have a look. Can I cancel this way? No. This way? No. This way? No. And this way? No. I've tried everything. It's not working. So, we multiply out the top numbers. Okay, so we have 5 times by 3 over 2 times by 1. That gives you 15 over 2, 15 divided by 2 is 7, and remainder 1, which gives you 7.5. I hope that's given answers for all the questions I selected for you. Please check now on that page and mark the work, please. Okay, are we all happy with that? Mm. Okay, right, so we've done the homonyms. Anybody got any problems, any questions, queries? I think somebody's fell out of the class. We've got Aisha, Hasib, Sarah, Umama, Yahya. I think Imam's falling out of the class with, with the Wi Fi. Okay, oh, got some questions here. Yahya, question number 45 has got your name written all over here. Yahya. Yahya, can you join me, please? How do we do this kind of question? It looks a little bit different. Can you help us, please? Um, so, what do we do with this number here? It looks like a, it looks like a whole number, not like a fraction. How do we change that whole number into a fraction so it looks nicer? What do we do to it? Yeah, the one at the bottom. Beautiful. What do we do with the four and a half to change into uh, top here? What do we do to it? Four times two and eight plus one nine. And what we do now, uh, well, what's, that, what's that, that really tasty thing that we do, KFC? Okay. Keep. So keep the first fraction. Yeah. And we flip the second fraction. Yeah. And we yeah. change the division into a what sign? Um, into a times. Beautiful. Now, what do we try to do now? We try to cancel in which diagonals? In both diagonals. Can we cancel it in any of those diagonals? No. Are you sure? I know you can't do it in one of them, so we can't do it in that diagonal. Can we um, do it in one? Two and one. Well, two and one won't cancel because one's already simple. It won't cancel any further. Nine. So what about the nine and the six? Will they cancel? Yeah. What will they cancel by? Um, three. Fantastic. Nine, six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. Now, what do we do now? Can we do any more canceling or do we just multiply them out now? 
Um, you just multiply them out. Fantastic. Three times by one on the top. Um, two times by two on the bottom. Four, three over four. <clears throat> Fantastic. What a beautiful answer there. So even though it looks more harder, it's actually not harder because we could change into a fraction easily by putting it over one. So I want everybody to have a go at the following uh, one or two questions for me, please. So question number 57 uh, and question number 41. So I'm going to give you uh, two minutes. Off you go. Okay. So what do we do with this question? Let's have um, Sarah, please join me on question number 57. Sarah, unmute. For question 57, you have to change the mixed fraction into a top heavy fraction. So 12 into 2 is 24, and you have to add the one which is 25. So it'll become 25 by 5, and then, I mean, 25 by 2, and then you write by, and then 5 by 1, and then... Okay, why, have, why, have you written, why have you written 5 over 1? Why did I change the whole number into a fraction? What happened to it? You change the whole number into a fraction because, um, it, uh, because, because when you flip it upside down, we don't have a free, we don't have like fresh air. We have to have a number at the top and flip it. So, so we keep. Which one do we keep? You keep twenty-five by two. Which one do we flip? Five by one. Which one do we change? Division to multiplication. Okay, let's go. So, so we've got to keep the first fraction as it is. We've got to turn the divide and triangle, and the second fraction we turn upside down. Can we cancel now? Um, yeah. Okay, which way can we cancel? Which, which diagonal? You can cancel 25 and 5. Mm -hmm. And they both come in the timetable of 5. So they will both divide by five. What do you get now? And then after, since two and one can't divide, you can multiply them and it will become five by two. And what kind of fraction is that? It's a top heavy fraction. What's so the final answer then? The final, final answer is two one by two because you have to change it into a mixed fraction because it's a top heavy fraction. So five divided by two is two. The remainder goes on top of the two. So it becomes two remainder one, two and a half. Well done. Okay, do the next one for me as well, please. Number 41, how do you do that one? For 41, you have, you have to write eight by 11 divided by 10 by one. So which one do I keep? You keep eight by 11. Which one do I flip? You flip 10 by one. Which one do I change? You change the division. Okay, KFC. Eight. Okay, so eight over 11 times by one over 10. Can I do any canceling? No. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. What can you cancel by? You can cancel it by two. What do we do next? You can multiply them because it let win and one don't divide. So what's the answer going to be? Four by 55. Fantastic. Okay, folks, are we getting happy with these questions now? Yes? Are they making sense? So we're doing division fractions. They're identical to times in fraction with a little baby step of 1.5, the KFC. Keep the first one, flip the second one, and change the division into times. So the question becomes a times question. So we're not actually doing any division in that sense. The divisions are being changed into times questions. So it's the same as uh, our last week's work. So what I want you to do now, let's have a look, what time is it? Uh, okay. What the, everybody, can everybody please mark those two answers and please check with yourself. So now we're gonna have our, let's have a look. Should we have a break? Maybe we should have a break in the last time. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's have a look. I think we should get on with our pre-class testing. So let's make it that as a separate video. So we can stop the recording now.